Left 4 Dead 2 is a game that I've spent many hours playing. Whether it's on Steam or the hundreds of hours I've played with friends on the Xbox, Left 4 Dead 2 has been one of my favorite games to play with friends. But what if all your friends run out of good boy points and can't hang out? Well, in the spirit of my Black Ops 4 Zombies bot video, I wanted to see how some other zombie slaying bots fare. Can you beat Left 4 Dead 2 with just the bots? Now, in a similar fashion to what it's like to have your mom drag you through a clothing store, I was nothing but my bot's humble guide through this run. I was only there to lead the way and occasionally press buttons just like when you'd be a big strong boy holding the door open for your mom. Left 4 Dead 2 has five campaigns or movies, with the first one being dead center. This is the first one of the game, so I did not expect there to be much hassle. Uh, the first chapter is all about getting out of the hotel as fast as you can, like if you stole all the towels and shampoo from your room. I made the decision at the beginning of the game that I was not allowed to heal myself or even push the enemies off me. This was not something that lasted long, however, as I will talk about later in the video. Even though I haven't played this game in a hot minute, it was kind of like riding a bike and I was able to make my way past chapter 1 no problem. Chapter 2 is nothing to write home about either. We just did some back to school shopping, helped a guy get some good old fashioned cola, and made our way to the mall, which of course is where all dreams come true. Well, the mall may be where dreams come true, but it turns out my dream today was the plot of a cheesy horror movie where you keep dying again and again and again. <sighs> turns out being a madman and trying to sprint through the level as fast as you can isn't gonna fly here, and the hordes of Black Friday shoppers aren't playing games when it comes to these deals. However, after taking a break from the challenge for almost 21 days, I came back into it charged and ready to be the guide my bots wanted and needed me to be. This is also where I decided I was allowed to push the zombies off me in order to keep this gravy train rolling. The finale of each campaign is the hardest and most intense part of each one, but filling up this car with gas was not a problem at all. Honestly, the play space is big enough and there are plenty of cans. This is pretty much what I would do when I'd play with friends as well, but with the car fueled and good to go, it was time to move on to the next and possibly my favorite campaign of the game, Dead Carnival, baby. A carnival is always a fun thing, but let's see if this challenge will suck the fun out of an otherwise awesome campaign in the game. After our car runs out of gas, my lovely band of AI dudes start tearing things up on their way to the carnival. The only thing to note in this first chapter here is that I picked up a guitar. That way I could feel like the successful musician I always wanted to be. But it really was due to the fact that melee weapons in this game do super low damage when you use the push function. So that way I wouldn't have many accidental kills on these gamer guy hands. Now, I'm not going to talk about every section of the game. So I'm going to skip over the fairgrounds as it was a very easy section. And to be honest, I'm ashamed of myself for not grabbing Noam Chomsky. I realized too little too late. Forgive me gamers. The roller coaster part might be one of the most fun parts in the entire game. Up until this part, I was able to run through as fast as I can. Uh, I did get caught, however, by a hunter here at one point, which proves why you should stick with your team when you play this game. <laughs> uh, but after that hitch was taken care of, I beat this section and the next without any hassle, leading us to the concert. Now, this is usually my favorite part of the entire game, because when you're playing with four friends, especially on local co-op, on the hardest difficulty, it always ensured a tough, fun, tense game. But here it wasn't too bad, and it's worth noting that for this challenge I'm playing the game on the normal difficult. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this next campaign, Swamp Fever, was one I had to think really, really hard about. It's just not very memorable to me, and it's definitely my least favorite as the water is incredibly annoying. Hard Rain has tons of water, yet still does it better than the whole area and level designed around it. But anyway, there's not much to report on this either as my AI guys were hitting their shots and I was leading them through and not getting stuck in too many sticky situations. The penultimate moment of this campaign is when you go to the plantation house and defend it against hordes and hordes of zombies. Usually this is a pretty tense and crazy moment, but I've found that after years and years of playing this game, this last section of Swamp Fever is a piece of cake if you just chill in this yard like it's Cedar Rapids. Ah yes, 
Hard Rain. I mentioned earlier that Dark Carnival was my favorite campaign in this game. However, depending on what mood I'm in, this one is my favorite. And that mood must be a masochistic one, because anyone who knows this game knows that this level, especially leading up to the gas station, is so chock full of witches, it seems like a casting call for a Hocus Pocus sequel. This is even more true when you play on the hardest difficulty. However, for this challenge, this was a very, very easy section. I was a little disappointed to be honest. I was hoping this notorious campaign would give me that sweet dose of pain I've only been teased with up to this point. However, the most painful part of this was how long it took for Virgil to show up during the last section. With four out of the five movies down, the parish was surely going to be more of a headache, right? Well, this one actually ended up being the case. This took me more retries, more restarts than any other section in the game combined. First and foremost, I wanted to claim the frying pan as my own so I could pretend like I was in my favorite Disney movie, Tangled. The movie was pain because it is almost all tight spaces. Not bad if you're actually allowed to do more than tickle the zombies, but with me just being able to give the zombies the kind of shove you give your brother when he eats all your tendies, it was rough. There was one section where I got bullied by a tank and hunter, almost reenacting what it was like going through middle school. And the section by the overpass with all the car alarms wasn't very fun either. Oh, and to top all of these sections off, the cemetery was bad news bears all around, as my whole team was pretty wiped out from the aforementioned car section. But thankfully, even when I tried to get ahead of myself and speedrun like a maniac, my AI saviors came just in time to help me continue this run without going mad. So now that I was able to achieve the levels of pain necessary to feel satisfied from the challenge, it was time for the bridge, the final section in Left 4 Dead 2. This is an awesome section. Zombies are constantly spawning and running at you. There are tanks and special zombies everywhere. So what did your boy decide to do? That's right, with the end in sight, I decided to just book it like your cat does at 3 a.m. This actually didn't end up too poorly. It took me three tries running like an idiot to get where I needed to go, and almost like the game knew what I was up to, it made the final moments of this challenge all dependent on my AI pals killing the guys that knocked me down for giving them a stiff tickle. And I was able to beat Left 4 Dead 2 with just the bots. Thank you so much for watching. I know I haven't released a video like this in a while, but I've been wanting to make one again. Thank you to Colin and Furious Flame for suggesting this challenge. It was an interesting one for sure. I wouldn't mind trying to beat it again on a harder difficulty this way, but I'll probably do that on a stream or maybe if this video reaches a certain like goal. Let's say 50 likes. Overall, I'd recommend having a lot of patience for doing this challenge. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And leave a comment if there's a challenge you want me to do. Have a wonderful day.